where this administration came to power barely one year ago with so many promises. The promise made before the campaign, during the campaign, and after the campaign, and promises made while on the seat of power. The, 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 the aggregate of all these promises are that life should naturally be better off. Power will be available. We will reduce petroleum pump prices. Infrastructures will be at perhaps the best. Education and many other opportunities will be attached. One year in the office, where we are currently is far cry from what where we are supposed to be. The the, the, the planner, the executor, the initiator of the economy, they've not been able to found a correct model to power the developmental rate of this nation. And for quite some time, we've been going through very difficult time. Imagine that a country that's supposed to operate a mono-dollar market is now operating a multi multiplicity of dollar market. A country that ought to boost their foreign reserve is having a challenge that on a daily basis our foreign reserve is plummeting. And that is attacking many other issues in this country. We service the issue that has to do with importation of petroleum products because this country is fully almost to 80% dependent on importation of petroleum product to service their local economy. And the reason why we have to do that is because the local ones, the local refineries and policies to bring new ones to bear, they are never there. And so this government will have to continue to import and they import at the expense of our foreign reserve. And the foreign reserve is not there. The foreign reserve is no longer foreign reserve. It's a foreign problem. And of course, on daily basis, we have to sell crude. The crude that we used to sell, which used to be 2 million barrels per day, is now 1.4 million barrels per day because of problem of vandalism. Unable to meet the crisis in the Niger Delta on the board. And then vis-a-vis -vis the fact that we are also selling at a very, very unreasonable price at the level of the international market. All this cumulatively has created shock in the economy. And then the only thing that the government could do now is to increase the price of petroleum product, adding to the problem of Nigerians, adding to already inflated problem of Nigerians, adding to already exaggerated crisis of economy in this country. And that is cannot be the alternative. The alternative cannot be to increase the prices of petroleum product because government is unable to service their forest demands. And by creating three market, three market tiers, they create the one for CBM 197 per dollar. That's one one dollar to 197. They created the one for secondary market for the people to be able to import their petroleum products. They said it's about 285. They went ahead again to create another market for the black market for 360. How can this? How can this? Uh, we, we 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 all as a student of economics and as, as a student as a social engineer. We believe that these policies are new colonial, new colonialist, colonial, uh, colonialistic uh, policies. They are IMF and World Bank policies to continue to subjugate and impoverish Nigerians. And that is the situation we find ourselves. Imagine that you bought something yesterday for 10 naira, and today now that same thing has gone up to 30 naira. And that can only happen in the Banana Republic. It can only happen in a place where our economic policies are disjointed and judiced and is polished or powered by Jejuns. And these are the issues. So I want to strongly believe that the way out of this is for a, a, a model, an economic model, a political model, a political, social, economic model that places the people at the center point of our driving of our progressive policy. As long as we fail to do that, we'll be having a challenge. So, 
all the things that Akachuku and others came to discuss at the level of the parliament the other day, I found out that those arithmetics and calculus are not adding up. They look very nebulous, they look very vague. There is no, there is no conscious effort to place those mathematics on the table for us to fully discuss it. And everybody is flying different data and consciously creating a, a, a state of anomie in the minds of Nigerians and creating fears. We don't run government by fears, you run government on ideas. You don't run government on propaganda, you run government on policies. You don't run government on fears and trepidations and being timorous. You run government based on, on concept of consensus, on relationship, on dialogue. You run government with the people and not against the people. Thank you.